Hey, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome back. We're gonna learn how to get the rest of the artwork into the application. So I've got Sketch open on the left. This is what I use to work on graphic design for apps. I've got both vector and some non-vector things. So this is just an icon that I'm gonna export at 1x, 2x, and 3x. There's different sizes that we need for the iPhone and the iPad. And then I've also got some vector shapes that I'm gonna export as well. So these are gonna be exported as PDFs that we can then import into the, the app. So let's go ahead and grab those assets. I've got these in a folder for you. So if you go ahead and open the assets folder for this lesson, you will be able to see all of the artwork. And you can do a quick preview to sort of just see what these things look like and sort of go through. You can see that the receipt is gonna be at different sizes. So when you look at 3X, that's gonna be three times the size of the non 3X art asset. And that is used on different types of iPhones. So the iPhone uh, 6 Plus or 8 Plus or 7 Plus, all are gonna use this 3X asset because they have a much higher resolution screen. Okay, so let's just drag those into Xcode. I'm gonna select them and I'm just going to drag them right here onto the left into the asset catalog. Now, if you don't have the asset catalog open, let's bring open the sidebar and make sure that you select assets.xc assets. That's gonna be your asset catalog. Go back to Finder and then just drag those images in. It will automatically add them. Now, I'm going to use the command key to unselect the receipt icon. We need to modify the settings for these three so that they use a single vector for all of these scales. So if we open up our side panel on the right, that's this panel right here, we can then go over to our attribute inspector and then click on scales and switch it to a single scale. And you'll see that they all line up. If I look at the receipt icon, you can sort of see that we have one of each of these scales and we're sort of good to go on that. So now you can jump over to your storyboard file. Now I have seen this problem and now I'm seeing it again. I didn't see it in the last time I filmed the video, but I'm seeing it right now where I'm only seeing one of the images that was added and then I see them all sort of appear in our media inspector. So if you're on the object library, you wanna switch over to this media thing. And when we're on a storyboard file, for whatever reason, there's some kind of bug that we need to report to Apple where things are disappearing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quit this Xcode project and I am going to try and open that up again. Actually, I'm gonna quit all of Xcode. So just quit Xcode, just right click on it and then open it up again. And we should be able to start that whole process up again. When we do that, we may see the images appear. Another option that you can do if you don't see it is to just click the play and the stop button, see if that does anything. And my last tip, where this one is to do a clean and then a build. So it might want things to be built. I'm not entirely certain. This is different behavior than I've seen before. Okay, so this is the UI that we wanna design. We've just added these images to the screen. So now we can drag them out onto the screen. So if you just click and drag, you can pull out some of these things and we can start arranging content on the screen. And when I'm starting, I'm just sort of blocking the UI. So I just wanna drag out the different UI elements. I'm not too worried about the things lining up correctly. We just wanna get the general look of how the application is going to be. All right, so in the next video, we're gonna take this design, which I've started, and we're going to finish it so that we can actually make it look like we expect on the left. So we're gonna look at some of the sizing information where we can see, okay, how far is this element from this other element? And I've got a JPEG version of the UI that shows you all the distances on a single screen so that you can sort of see how these elements are gonna to relate to each other on an iPhone 8 size screen. So we are working with the iPhone 8. And if we go ahead and test this, we should see some of this content is going to be laid out exactly as I have it right now. So it's sort of, you can think of it right now Without auto layout, it's going to pin to the top left corner. So each element you can think of, there's a little pin that's gonna keep it on the screen. So we're going to design this specifically for an iPhone 8 or 7 or 6 size screen. And then we can test it on a real device after that. All right, so in the next video, we will fix this up.
Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you want to download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's going to send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. It's going to be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm going to be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm going to be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.